creating a panorama in Photoshop Elements 14. Here we have the click on our photo menu, three separate photos. And under Guided, you'll find a lot of things that you can do under the Photo Merge tab. One of them is creating a panorama. To create a panorama, you need to select the photos you want to combine into a panorama. But when you go to Guided, it takes that photo bin away, and you need to hold the Control key and select the three photos. You can see the difference when they're selected or when they're not. They have a little white edge around them. Then, if you want, you can change any of these options for perspective, or auto panorama, and you can see the differences there. There are additional settings where you blend the images together, of course, vignette removal, geometric distortion, creative direction. I don't need either of these. At the bottom, you see a create panorama. It says they have to be saved before they're merged. You might run across that. If you look in my expert mode, I actually have saved each of these documents prior to this. So what they're saying is that the computer has registered that I've made a change, whether I actually have or not. You can see that's grayed out, so it's not registering it there. I have something goofy going on in my computer right now. Sorry about that glitch. I'm going to hit the escape key and see if we can find something. So here we have our three photos. We're going to go back to guide it. We're going to go back to photo merge. We now have saved them all, so they're in the most recent state. I'm going to hold the control key, select the three of them, make sure this is on the one I want. Settings are correct, and create panorama. Because it was acting strange, the first thing I did was close it and open it back up again. I think at this point, the reason it was giving me an error message was because my memory was full. Going to Guided and Photo Merge, I'm clicking on Panorama. And once again, I'll just double check to see that every one of the options I wanted was selected. Go to my Photo Bin, select the three using the control key, and click on Create Panorama. Now I did nothing different this time, except to close and open the program. And a good troubleshooting thing would be to, to do that if you are following Adobe. I would like to automatically fill the edges. So I'm just going to click Yes. Now see, this is where you're seeing what my problem actually was. It probably actually needs to do a complete restart. And I'm not going to do it at this point. I just say, OK, I can't do the photo fill. Now let's go into Expert I'm Unguided and see that I have a panorama now created. If I wanted to work with that panorama more, I would either have to delete these or just select this or merge them. So you could go to Image, I'm sorry, Layers and merge or flatten the image. I'm going to flatten all mine so it's just into one. Now I can work with that, it's not a layered document, and I can save it, and I'm done with my panorama.